Okay, so here we're looking at the basic cubed root exercise module on Khan Academy. Now, cubed root, looking at the simplest example, I think, is, is the cubed root of 8. And the answer is 2. Why? Because 2 to the third power equals 8. And what this is saying, if you think about this relationship here, a cubed root is to find a root or a number times itself three times that gives you whatever you're looking for. So here, because 2 times itself, three times equals eight. That means the third root of, of eight is two. And the way you might find this, and this works nicely for many of the numbers that are easier to break down, uh, like even numbers, for example, is to use the prime factorization. If I was to take the cubed root of eight, I could think, oh, well, I know eight is four times two. I mean, doing prime factorization here, finding numbers that multiply to get eight. You can pick any factors. And every time I reach a prime number like 2, I stop. But 4 is not prime, so I break it down further. 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So here, we know we're looking for the third root. So we're looking for three numbers that multiply to whatever you're looking at. So I notice I have this triplet right here. You always should look for these triplets. So here, that means, oh, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And those are three numbers, all the same. So that means you can recognize that this is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. And the cubed root of 2 times 2 times 2 is just by definition 2. So by using prime factorization, you can find these triplets. Let's look at 64 as a better example. So here are 64, it's even. And even numbers are easier to work with. I'm going to use 2 times what? 32, right? Now 2 is prime, it's broken down. 32 is not. I'm going to break that down again. That's 2 times 16. 16 is not prime, break it down. 2 times 8. 8 is not prime, break it down. 2 times 4. And finally, 4. Again, it's 2 times 2. So we can break this down into pairs, but again, we're looking for cubed roots. So look for those triplets. Here I have 2 times 2 times 2, so I have at least one perfect cube, and another right here, 2 times 2 times 2. So that tells me, right, I know the cubed root of 2 times 2 times 2 is 2, and I know the cubed root of this 2 times 2 times 2 is also 2. So this means what? Well, we can write this out. We have the cubed root of, we could write 2 times 2. I wouldn't write this every time, but just to show, times 2 times 2 times 2, right? We'll write like that. And we can break that down, the cubed root of 2 times 2 times 2 times the cubed root of 2 times 2 times 2. We're just breaking this apart, a basic law of exponents. So this right here, the cubed root of 2 times 2 times 2 is what? 2. The cubed root of this is also 2. We're multiplying them. 2 times 2 is 4, and that's our answer. And that makes sense. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. Again, well, 16 times 4, that's 64. So the cubed root of 64 is just 4. The nice thing here is um, when you break it down in prime factorization, you'll never miss these cubed roots. They're really easy to miss sometimes with more complex numbers. So try this technique out. Now, the problem, though, is a lot of examples are really not easy to break down. So I would actually just sit down for a moment and look or make a list of maybe one, the numbers 1 through 13. Those numbers cubed will really help you with these types of exercises. 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, right? Get used to that one. And, and 4 is cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125. Those are the ones I usually hold in my head. Now. 7 might be easier to memorize. It's symmetrical. 3, 4, 3. 8 is 5, 12. 9 is 7, 29. That you can memorize or recognize quickly because when you add the digits, 7 plus 2, you get 9. Plus 9 is 18. Any multiple of 9, if you add the digits, you get a multiple of 9. So 9 plus 9 is 18. That is a multiple of 9. So it's 9 cubed is 7, 29. And 10 cubed is 1,000, right? It's easy to recognize. 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. But 11, 12, and 13 and higher are really hard to recognize. You might look at them if you need that or test it out. I mean, what's nice about 11, you can see that these two numbers clustered in the middle, 3, 3, are the same. That might help you recognize it. And 12 and 13 are, are harder to remember. But use this list or some list like it to get familiar with these numbers and practice. Thanks.